So before we get started with the video, guys, there's a little story that I want to tell you before we get into this one. Where to start? So first of all, recording this thing was a bit uh, out of my, not my comfort zone. It was just really loud. The place that I'm uh, going to show you guys uh, is outdoors. And not only that, they run their uh, place of work on a generator, on a gas power generator. So that and there was, it was windy. It was very windy. The generator was on. It was just all kinds of fucking noise. There was traffic and shit. There was all kinds of noises going on. So I had to look into some software to kind of help enhance the audio so you can actually hear what I'm saying and get rid of all the other background noise and, and whatnot. And then when it came down to actually uh, reviewing the drink and the food that I'm about to show you guys, uh, the camera was, uh, there was too much lighting for some reason. I was, it was because I was rushing really. Honestly, I was rushing. And so everything looks completely just overlit. I, me personally, I, I feel like it was overlit. Especially like everything behind me. Uh, I got this new uh, thing I got here in the back. There's like two beers uh, doing that beer tap thing. And then I, I, I was just, I was just, I just rushed everything and everything was completely overlit. I look like fucking much more pillar than I usually look. And then. I did not plug in my goddamn mic to the camera properly. So all I got was this. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But luckily, when I do record, because I use two cameras, when I do record, I always have a mic plugged in to the other camera. So what you're going to be hearing is from not my main uh, boom mic, but the uh, mic that's going to be mounted on my secondary uh, angled uh, second camera. So I managed to also enhance and kind of clean up the audio for that one so it doesn't sound like I'm, uh, you know, when you're on speakerphone and you're talking away from it, kind of what, kind of what you're probably hearing this right now. I, I did, I fixed it so it won't sound like that. And that is not even the worst part. The worst part is I, I recorded everything at the location. I did the B-rolls. I did the talking head thing. And then I got the food. I did B-rolls of the food. And then I put the food in my, in my truck. And then I drove off. And then I got a text message uh, later on that day from the people there saying that, Hey, bro, uh, you forgot to pay. I felt so fucking dick, dude. The the, the these people would re reach me on my uh, booze Instagram and Facebook. They were just trying to reach me, and uh, I I felt I was a little embarrassed. I will I will admit that. But and I'm like I messaged the guy back like, dude, I'm so fucking sorry. Didn't even realize I didn't pay, but all all got fixed. Uh, they sent me uh, their cash app. I even sent them an extra ten with a little note on there saying for my stupidity. Literally, I put that in the note. But I fixed the video as much as I could, and I fixed the problem in the future allies with people that you don't want messing with you because they are the ones that are going to be serving your food, and you don't want to mess with people like that. But there's the story of how this video almost went very, very bad. <laughs> All right, but that's enough of my story, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's video, uh, The Phantom Bride and uh, Dog Fries. Let's move on with that, shall we? I don't really have anything fancy to say right now other than what's going to be in the thumbnail. I apologize for the background noise. But in today's video, we're going to do Diff Tones IPA and the dog fries. You're all probably thinking to yourself, what is that? Stay tuned, find out. So I've been coming down to this place since basically when they first uh, started. As you can see, it's a one of those food trucks, and it's not an ordinary food truck. Uh, this one in particular, uh, we visited again since the very beginning. I can't exactly tell you how long it's been. What this place uh, that special to me for the reason that it's good food, like genuinely 
genuinely good food. And second of all, the price. Cannot beat price. I'm a come type of guy that if I'm gonna go out to eat something, uh, I'm looking at the price. Because I'm not, I don't like overpaying for something. And you know, I mean I mean like I think that pretty much goes to fur like anybody really. And so uh, this place again been coming at it since with day one and uh, been coming ever since. My wife loves it, I love it, my kid loves it. And I decided, you know, I think it's time to showcase this place. And as well as uh, some other ideas that I have coming up, so no doubt for this. So I got my food right here. Then I had to take this home because as you could, as you saw, this isn't just for me, it's for the wife and the kid. So I gotta go feed them as well as do the thing that I do, which is the beer review. Like I said, this is also beer review. Food review, which is the dog fries. And we're also gonna see how it pairs very well with the Deftones IPA. So uh, let's go on on to that. Before we get into the beer, food reviewing, and the pairing, I wanna give a big old shout out to Variety Meat Market. It's just located right in front of Dog Fries. Uh, it's my, my only, not only, but the place that I go to and get some uh, quick beers. Uh, it is right down the block from where I live, so big old shout out to them. Because uh, not only do they have dog fries, or they allow dog fries to like sell their stuff there, which is very good, smart business move in my in my part. Uh, not only that, um, they have pretty good beer selections as well. Uh, so big old shout out to Variety Meat. So with that out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and dive right into this here beer food review and pairing. So I did mention Devtones again. I have reviewed a Devtones. Uh, beer before I believe it was like an ale. I'm not I don't remember exactly I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description right down below for the first dev tones uh, Beer that I reviewed so what do you say we get start uh, pouring the beer so we can start eating because uh, No, it's it's look it's looking fabulous fabulous dog fries did a very excellent job uh, This was like uh, it's like it's a like fucking art looking at this thing so let me go ahead and pour that, and like we do here in the channel, I open this uh, here, in this case IPA, and while I do that, the dirty details on the drink, so again, so we can get this uh, food uh, and beer propaganda started. You see here guys I did do a bit of a heavy pour I am tr I was trying to be a little fast about it but at the same time careful and those two mixed together never work out so as a result we got a quite a bit of foam quite a huge head almost like that's like three fingers worth of fucking head there but I guess what we can go ahead and do is dive into these here delicious looking wings while the the head here settles down Giggity. So let's go ahead and start with the this here wing. Like I mentioned in the in the beginning in the intro part of the video, guys, this place is boom. This one here is the lemon pepper, uh, mild lemon pepper, something like that. It's a mixture of the lemon pepper and the mild sauces. Boneless. Uh, I'm not gonna dive into the whole traditional and boneless thing. Uh, they're the, the way that they treat their menus a bit different, but nonetheless the food is fucking fantastic first bite We have the first drop of the wing the look at that came prepared with a tray So the wing this is what I love so much about this fucking place the wing itself again. It's it's boneless again There's there's a whole debate on that. We're not gonna go into that But the wing itself very very tender the chicken. I mean it's very super super tender it's not uh, undercooked and has a nice little small amount of crisp on the outside with that breading that it's got and the sauces, guys. 
the mild is uh, nothing, really not nothing out of the ordinary. And the lemon pepper, just uh, I, I don't know what brand of lemon pepper that they use, but the brand that they do use seems to work out perfectly with the fucking sauce that they put in the wing. Like I said, it's tender, uh, very moist, not very slightly, the right, the perfect amount of moist in there. And then it's got that nice, nice little crisp touch. And uh, like I said, in the outer layer, it's not like a, uh, like a crunch, like you get like biting a damn like chip or something, but just the right amount it blends well with the tenderness of the chicken and that, and that moisture that there's the word again, moist. It's cooked in such a, such a way, such a like loving way, I guess you could say. That's the only way I can, that's the only way I can think of putting it. So I'm gonna finish this. Well, before I finish it, there's a little bit of space here of that Devtones IPA. Finish this and then we're gonna uh, go ahead and see how the IPA can pair with the, his here, Wayne, cheers. So just go back here guys, I got my water. You know how I roll on this channel. I gotta rinse the palate so I can fully taste the flavor of what it is I'm tasting. In this case, the Deftone IPA and the food. We're gonna see how they pair well and how the beer by itself tastes. So, rinsing that off. So here we go guys. Here comes the first thing that we do here in the channel and that is the smell. Cheers. IPAs will always carry a very heavy, fruity, grapefruity, I want to say maybe possibly tangerine on this one. I'm not quite sure. Not just a grapefruity type of smell, but also possibly some pineapple in there. So I'm getting grapefruit, pineapple, earthy, bit of uh, hops in there. I can't really exactly tell you what kind of hops, but the grapefruit and pineapple, straight up, that's what smells, that's what comes out of the smell. Gonna pour in the rest of that. It even has like a yellow color tone, just like pineapple. Oh, and now that I filled it up all the way to the top, I really do pick up the pineapple. So tropic-y, bro. It's insane how tropical this is. But anyways, guys, let's get right down to tasting this so we can go ahead and get what we pick up in the palate so we can also skip right along to the food because I don't want my food to get cold. So let's jump into the taste, shall we? Just one more sip of water. Phantom Bride IPA to Devtones. Cheers. Oh, and dog fries. Cheers to them. So fucking sweet, man. Straight, straight away, you pick up the pineapple, the sweetness, the tanginess of a pineapple, and also that grapefruit that I was picking up in the nose as well. You, you get the pineapple with the grapefruit. Uh, again, it's very citrusy, very uh, sweet, and that fruitiness just completely takes over the palate completely. There's not one point that when you drink this fucking thing, it, it's just no, because there's there's the earthy tones that I was picking up on the nose. Uh, you don't get that as much. They're there, but they're very, very subtle, but more so the fucking fruitiness of this thing. It's insane. This is like another, this is another uh, one of those uh, beers that you, you taste and you just think like, dude, this is, this is homemade fruit juice or some shit. Cause that's exactly what this is. It just tastes like fruit juice, pineapple fruit juice. Cause it's mostly, it's mostly got the pineapple in there. I'm gonna give it one more sip here. Nope. Not one damn time does the sweetness not stop. Now, being that it has more pineapple and fruity flavors, great fruity flavors in here, how is this going to affect the mild of the hot sauce that's in this uh here dog fries wings because hot sauces on by themselves on their own are already mild and a little bit acidic and this is kind of kind of maybe higher that so i'm hoping well i'm not even sure what what's gonna happen here is for the pineapple fruits juice with uh hot wings with cheese in them and lemon pepper we'll get to the final thoughts because the final thoughts we're going to talk about 
there's just this and just this and then together. So let's go ahead and uh, let's, let's do let's do the comparison about I mean not the comparison, but uh, how they pair. I mean, let's dive into this, guys. First, we take the bite off of the wing here. Oh, that's a oh that's a big one. First bite to this. Mild. Oh, I'm second. Sorry if I am. With a lemon pepper. Let's go. By the way, yes, this is a Starbucks cup. It's the biggest thing I had to hold up the this here uh, cone that they gave you. I'm a one man band. That's where I hold it and hold this. It's complicated. So so you know, not sponsored by Starbucks, but we should maybe talk, you know, over coffee. All right, now I'm a, I'm gonna have just one more bite because it's all good. Now let's go on and see how well pineapple fruit juice tasting beer will go. Cheers. Okay, so this pairing falls under the category of contrast. If you remember back to the, the video I did where it, uh, the, I think it was three or four or three, four, I don't even remember how many there was. The different ways of co comparing or complementing food with beer. This falls under contrast and in, in contrasting, it's basically adding a flavor to another flavor. So basically it's one flavor of something completely different adding to something else that's completely different. But the sweetness of the pineapple grapefruity citrusy flavors kind of really does go with the, the spiciness and the lemon pepper that comes with this uh, here uh, dog fries. So just because they're both completely different doesn't mean they don't go unless you're like one of those people who are very specific in what is exactly that they like or or want to you know something like that but the fruitiness the citrusiness just kind of adds a uh, different kick some more pizzazz if you will now if you don't mind i'm gonna finish this wing and then i'm just gonna go ahead and pair this with the fries and what uh, what i can only assume is a cheese stick the one with those nice looking little sticks right there cheers to dog fries man i'm telling you you guys need to hit this place up i don't have the address on me right now but i will go ahead and leave the link to their address and their uh, Facebook in the description. You guys need to go try this yourselves. Before we do the the fry and the, the cheese stick, rinse out. All right, let's do the fry first. I'm gonna get the freaking cheesiest one I could find. Cause I think they also put bacon, y'all. Oh, yeah, they put bacon. Cheese and bacon, man. The key to happiness right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat all of these here. I'm gonna get a fucking paper towel because I know I'm gonna make a fucking pig out of myself doing this. Cheers. Finer things in life. Don't take advantage of them, all right? Cheese, bacon, and beer. Keys of happiness. I got that uh, cheesy bacon fry flavor in my mouth. So it pairs with uh, this here phantom bread. Does it pair as well than with the mild tanginess that is the hot sauce of the wing. It could be because of the, maybe the, 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 the grease or the oil, whatever that they fry the, the fries in. Or could be that the bacon is a lot more different compared to how they make the chicken. Or it could be the cheese. Now, I don't blame it. Don't ever blame the cheese. The, the cheese is your friend. And this is coming from somebody who's lactose. There's a saying that says, there's people, uh, the, the bravest people I mean, are the lactose people. Because we know what cheese can do to us, or dairy can do to us. But we always take that challenge. Why? Because it's so fucking good. But again, like I said, does not pair as well than what it, than when, how it does, I mean, with the, with the wings or the hot sauce that that. Pineapple-y, grapefruity, uh, citrusy beer with uh, bacon cheese fries. No, all right. It's a so-so. It's a so-so. It's not the worst ever in the world, but it's 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 a so-so. Now, last but not least, this here cheese stick. Whoa, that's a big ass stick. Giggity. All right, I'm just gonna pull it out of here, or else I'm gonna end up hurting myself. Now let's do a cheesy stick with the uh, Fenta Bright. Cheers. I took a little long. Cause it got a little slightly cold already. That's my fault. That's my fault. And because it got cold, it's got like this like 
staleness to it. It probably would have been a lot better while it was still warm. Again, that's my fault. But I'm gonna go ahead and have the rest of this anyways, and then I'm gonna take that sip. Even cold, now that I've uh, had a little bit more, it's still fucking good. I'm telling you, man. Cheese. Cheese, beer, bacon. Keep happiness. Never forget that. Cheese stick, fence bride. Here we go. Cheers. The Phantom Bride completely overpowers the cheese stick. Like, completely. Like, the flavor of the cheese stick, gone. I can't really say it's because of the type of breading or because, again, of the oil or the grease that they fry the stuff in. I'm not sure. But it completely, completely erased the flavor of the cheese stick. Which isn't bad. Not all cheese sticks taste the same. This cheese stick was actually pretty good. But this here, IPA, completely erased it. There's not, again, not a good or a bad thing. Just, uh, see what the fuck, fans bright. <laughs> or, all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my palette one last time here, and we're gonna go ahead and end the way these videos end here. And that is uh, with the final thoughts, or should I say with the final thoughts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do dog fries first because I'm gonna keep eating it as I explained to you. I'm not gonna say sorry for eating in front of you. So dog fries, I don't know how, how to tell you this, but just go, you need to go and try it. Like I mentioned in the beginning, if you like good, good food, like genuinely good food, like surprisingly good food, I say surprisingly because the first time uh, me and my family with we saw the name and we just like honestly honestly if the, the name is caught us off guard we're like oh crap honestly i was thinking like is this is this like dog food or what is this and then you go up to the place and like oh shit it's it's wings okay you know fuck it we'll give it a shot and then as they say the rest is history so we go back uh ever so often again we've been going there since they've uh i guess you can see since they parked it there because their food truck and uh, I can I can honestly tell you, like straight up, straight up, this place is really fucking good. And now the Phantom Bride. So as it usually goes here in the channel, guys, whenever I do get a really cool looking beer like this, my good good friends, uh, Julius and Jose, shout out to you guys, always come through. And like I said in the first review that I did on the Deftones uh, beer, I don't again I don't remember if it was an ale or. Uh, Again, I don't remember what, what style it was. But the, like I said, in the, in the first Devtones review, not only am I a Devtones fan, I'm a huge fan of their music, but the fact that they're uh, continuing uh, on collaborating with Belching Beaver just uh, really uh, says a lot that uh, these guys know each other, know what they're doing, know what they want, and, and know exactly what it is that they like also, because the first beer was was pretty good as, as far as what I can remember. This one, not just because I'm a huge IPA fan, but because they just they just did this one right as well. So I can't really say exactly where it is that you can find this, but it's definitely not going to be in Laredo, Texas. For damn sure. So because of that reason, I don't exactly have a price to give you guys. But I did just look up how much uh, a 12 pack of these cost. And a 12 pack for uh, the Devtones Double Dry Hodge Hazy IPA, it goes for about close to 50 bucks. A 12 pack of these. So you can only imagine how much a, what I can only assume that these came in a, would come in a pack of four. Cause typically when they do 16 ounces and something fancy collaboration, or a special type of, of, of beer it typically always comes in a four pack so again you can just imagine how much a four pack will uh, cost or even just a 16 ounce single can will come out too if you, any of you out there know please go ahead and leave it in the comments let me know I would much appreciate that but overall the smell delicious the taste just as delicious again this is not just because i'm a big ipa fan but generally this double dried hopped hazy ipa is definitely a um something to rock out to 
and the dog fries guys i will go ahead and leave the links to the their facebook and uh, all their uh, information where you can find them in the description again you guys have to try this out for yourselves been going since day one been coming back it's worth the trip it's worth the money it's just worth it's just worth it well that pretty much concludes this video guys i'm gonna go ahead and end here because my food is probably cold and that kind of sucks thank you guys for tuning in checking out the channel and as usual bump that like button right down there subscribe if you are new to the channel hit that bell notification so you can know when i put up a new video up and i will see you guys in the next review of any kind whether it be food movie beer liquors cocktails we'll see you there and with that i will say if you keep watching i'm gonna keep drinking cheers guys